So for Easter weekend, we've planned a workout. All of the exercises spell the word Easter. We're challenging you to complete three to four rounds. You're going to set your timer one minute at each exercise, and there's going to be a lot of jumping. So you're going to burn lots of calories. You're going to get that heart rate up, and we challenge you to include the whole family or whoever you're quarantined with for this long weekend um, to get in on this challenge. For the letter E, we have an elevated crunch. First thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure that low back is pressed into the floor. From there, bring your heels up. Your knees are bent at 90 degrees. From there, you crunch, lifting your scapulas off the floor, crunching in through the abs, and repeat. Modification, you drop your heels onto the riser so you're still in an elevated position, and you complete the crunch from here. For the letter A, alternating plyo split squat. So making sure that front knee and toe track in the same direction. Chest stays upright, core is engaged. You're dropping that back knee down as close to the ground as possible, hopping up in between each rep. Modification, alternating reverse lunge. So slowing it down, stepping your feet together, stepping back into that reverse lunge, dropping the knee close to the floor. Front knee and toes track in the same direction as well letter s we have a sumo stance jump squat so our feet come wider than our hips our knees and toes point in the same direction outwards then we land soft and leap upright we want to make sure our chest stays upright we're sinking weight into our heels as we come down modification you'll still go for that sumo squat you'll just eliminate the jump and you'll go for regular sumo squats the letter T, we have toe taps. So most of the weight is in your back foot. You're just gently tapping that front foot on an object. If we're using a yoga block, you're welcome to use a thick dictionary or textbook for this one. You're keeping the heart rate up. If you need to modify, you can just simply step your foot forward and back at a steady pace. For the letter E, we have an elevated glute bridge. So we're putting our feet on a riser from there, bridging our hips up, squeezing our glutes at the top, and then coming back down. If we wanted to make this a little bit easier, we'd take our feet to the floor or have a smaller riser and just go for our glute bridge from there. So pressing into our heels, lifting those hips up, squeeze the glutes, and then bring them back down. For the letter R, we have a reverse crunch. So you're lying flat on the floor. Your low back is pressed in. From there, your arms are to the side. Draw your knees into your chest. Drive your feet up. Extend your legs straight. So you're going out into that hollow hold, then into that reverse crunch, and you're continuing this for the whole minute. To make it a little bit easier, you can slide your hands under your glutes, and that will provide a bit extra support to keep your body in the right position. Modification option two, on the way down, your knees would be bent instead of coming out straight. <laughs> Three, two, one, go.
Three, two, one, go. Reverse punch. I'm in life, I'm keeping. 